Hello everyone, I'm Melinda Nail Fanatic and this is your monthly tarot for April 2017 for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Northern Node. We are going to begin our month reading with a message from my Custom Words of Clarity deck. <clears throat> if you would like to commission the channeling and designing of a Words of Clarity deck specifically for yourself, you can contact me at the information shown below the screen or look on my website for more contact information to begin the process. Now, I'm not going to take any of those. Let's keep shuffling. Which card is our word of clarity for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Northern Node viewers? For my brothers and sisters of humanity at the sign of Taurus for April 2017 what word is it that we should give our attention to anger okay we had two come out we have anger and flow so let's see how these are going to play into our messages for the month <clears throat> we are going to Let's use the Radiant Rider Weight to see what is the tarot messages for us for April 2017. What is the words that need to be said to my Taurus viewers about what they'll live, see, and experience for April 2017? We have the Two of Pentacles, dealing with partnerships, balancing, bringing things in and out, standing on major life change. Life is never going to look the same. We have the Death card coming out at our feet. So you going through a lot of things, which does let me know. Anger is low base vibrational emotion. And so it is about you... Um, Feeling some frustration, some irritation, some anger about some of the changes that you're going through, possibility, because you are going through changes. And I feel that in the past, some of you were married, and uh, now you're going through relationship changes, whether it's you were married, now you've been single for a while, or you were single, now you're um, going to get involved with somebody. But definitely, I feel like long established. Um, status quo is being changed here. Uh, I, I do feel that some of you are looking at a career change. Some of you are looking had recently started a new education program, new schooling commitments, something of that nature. We had one flip over inside here, and it's the Three of Wands. So now it's all about you deciding to move forward and taking those steps to move forward and some of you it's in regards to love we have the lover's card at the bottom of the deck i'm gonna go ahead and pull a card from our wisdom of the golden path and let's just see how it wants to enhance our message for april 2017 for us taurus sun moon rising and northern node what card I keep bumping the camera stand, excuse me. This one flipped all the way over, we'll take it. The flame of inspiration. Flame of inspiration is letting us know that our fire inside is guiding us. And I see her, her gaze is towards the magician and the lovers. More importantly, I feel her gaze towards the lovers. So I definitely see that um, change in relationship for some of us there was a Taurus and a Scorpio involved and this Taurus and Scorpio relationship has been I feel on again off again I'm getting and so um, for some of you there's a third time is the charm energy going on here and what the important things to pay attention to in regards to yourself and how you're expressing yourself would be how you're allowing your emotions to flow. Do you allow them to flow in a smooth, harmonious way, or are you allowing yourself to dwell in anger and frustration? 
and um, which emotions are the ones that are more important and which are the ones that you want to choose to enhance because you're constantly enhancing emotion in your life in one way or another. The lover's card here though is telling us for some of you, you could be dealing with a Gemini. Others of you, again, we're dealing with Taurus and Scorpio. All of us, however, regardless of whether or not we're dealing with the sign, we're looking at major life change that comes in and allows us to decide which way we want to go. And so we begin to take our plans forward and follow our inspiration because our inspiration is very key. It's very strong. It's it's guiding you. It's a fire within you. Oh, yes, Love Source God is showing me now, you know. Sit still. Do what feels right until that fire is so strong that it burns you right up out of your seat and makes you move. Because if the decisions you have to make aren't coming in that strongly, then it's not yet time to move. But I do feel that you're going to have something coming in for you. Um, the energy is going to be so strong that you won't be able to sit still with this. A lot of you, I'm receiving by channel, that a lot of you are going through changes in, in the way you think, which is why the magician is there. Because you're learning how your thoughts are reflecting your reality. The magician is a card that has the infinity symbol over his head. And so within his mind is infinite potential. Within his grasp are all of the tools required. And within his right hand is this, uh, this scepter that connects him as above, so below. And so if you hold yourself in the headspace of of being in flow with your universe, then it must be. And if you hold yourself in the headspace of frustration, anger, or disappointment in about any matter, it so also must be. I'm going to go ahead and pull a card from the Money and Law of Attraction deck for you. And I'll just read that straight from the card. And if it correlates into this message, we'll combine it. If not, this is money card for you. Let's see what wants to express itself for Taurus. This one's coming out. It's card number 17. It says the law of attraction adds power to both problems and solutions. Now that definitely correlates to our reading. I just finished talking about how we have the power of the mind with infinite potential, whatever we're focused on. Okay, 